Uh, final news topic of the week, and uh, I'm just going to read what's on the docket here because I find it vaguely amusing. Um, Unity 50 Hertz issue returns again. It returns again in uh, capitals. Actually, mm-hmm. just the beginning, but there we are. It needs to stop. <laughs> John, this is you, isn't it? You've got a yes, rant. It's, you've it's got a rant me. building, haven't you? Oh, do I have, to, I have another rant? Come, man, this is just a day of rants, it seems. <laughs> uh, so I've talked about this before on DF Direct and in other videos, and it's been a frustrating thing. Games that ship in Unity, in in many cases, ship with what I call the it's the tick rate bug. It's not really a bug though. It's more that the default rate for physics update, the default tick rate in Unity is 50 hertz. Yeah. And it remains that way, right? Um, unfortunately, when you tie the camera to an object that is reliant on physics calculations, the camera itself will appear to update or match the rate of the physics tick rate. So that means, let's say you had a side-scrolling game that... And the game's updating at 60 FPS, but the character is a rigid body physics object, and that updates at 50 hertz internally, the physics tick rate. Now your camera's going to scroll at what looks like 50 hertz in a 60 hertz container. So the whole thing is juddery looking. It doesn't look smooth, right? It's really bad. Uh, we actually saw this recently in Dave the Diver last year. Right. Uh, was it last year? The year? I can't remember when it was, but it that was game, year. the whole game has that problem where it just doesn't look smooth. But, you know, I kind of forgot about this for a bit until Super Monkey Ball <laughs> Banana Rumble hit. So for whatever reason, RGG Studios, uh, I think they're the ones that developed this. They don't have this problem on their other games, which have used either the Dragon Engine or Unreal in a couple cases. But the Monkey Ball stuff they're doing in Unity for some reason. And this has that... You instantly see it. Because I... Various people have been raving about this. Says, oh, dude, this is a really cool monkey ball game. You got to check it out. So I was actually stoked for it. But then it turns out as soon as you start to play it, it's like, oh, this doesn't look smooth at all. It, and if you actually go frame by frame, you'll see out of every six frames, there's one frame where it just doesn't update the movement of the camera <laughs> and the ball and everything. <laughs> so that's, the whole game ends up looking, it just yeah. doesn't look as smooth as it should. Which is nuts. It really, it really, for a game like this that demands such precision, it should be so fluid. For a, for a series that started life on the GameCube running at a fall of 60 frames per second. Well, actually, I guess it started on the Naomi board in the arcades yeah. and then went to GameCube. Uh, I just think that's unacceptable here. And oh, yeah. there's really, there's really two fixes. Um, so the one I've implemented myself that actually does work but requires a little bit more grunt is that you simply change the tick rate to 60 hertz instead of 50 but when you're on a switch i do understand um sometimes it's monkey ball yeah we're not talking i I, I know i'm just i'm just saying (laughs) so that's one way but then unity itself and this is when i spoke with unity about this in the past they were like uh you know they raised that concern about the frame time issues and you know the the demands of that but they have interpolation as an option that they suggested should be like the default option but clearly some developers still haven't gotten the memo and they're using neither interpolation or a higher tick rate for the physics and when you're on something like, oh, this also, it's also affected. You remember the Final Fantasy set? Uh, sorry, the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. Oh, yeah. Those had the same freaking problem where, like, the scrolling, these were games designed for like eight and 16 bit systems to look super smooth, 60 FPS when you scroll. They were limited by the same freaking problem. So the camera movement of just walking around the overworld in these 2D pixel art games is not smooth at all. Unless you did a PC hack, I guess. Yeah. But on the console versions, there's nothing you can do. It just looks bad in motion. Uh, so developers, if you're watching this and you're using Unity, please pay attention to this setting. Either try, see if you have the headroom to bump up the physics tick rate, or probably even better, just in terms of simplicity, like try to use interpolation of some sort here. Unity does support this. Okay. Uh, and it can make a big difference because right now we have this awesome looking monkey ball game that is still perfectly playable, mind you, but it just doesn't look as smooth as it should. And it looks significantly less smooth than the original games, which I don't know, Alex, is it unfair to ask for them to match no, that? No, it's not at all. And I also just want to say like, 
I always feel like this one should be that one that just like your your eyes when you're watching something you should really be seeing it, especially if like there's any camera control in a game. And I think it's a big oversight on the development side to not notice it. But another thing that I want to mention, other than uh, like what John said about like a hack or something like that, another I guess user hack for this could be to run your game at 50, run your monitor <laughs> at fifty hertz. Like John used to PC, do this. Yeah. John used to do this in his four K on a budget videos, right? Um, you, you can do that. I, I did that back in the day. Yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a plausible hack, right? Because yeah. uh, before the days of variable refresh rate, displays did yep. support fifty hertz, which basically reduces your um, your your GPU requirement by like whatever you know five sixths. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, one sixth. But so yeah, you one see sixth. what I, you see what I'm saying there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's that's a good hack. Also, 100 hertz, or if you have a VR monitor on PC, limiting it with like RTSS and or special K to 50 FPS, and then just playing the game. Yeah, uh, you know, but all stuff though, you shouldn't have to do. Exactly. Yeah, especially <laughs> when it's a game like Monkey Ball, which is about physics, and you know, it's yeah. all, all about the movement of the ball. And a game like this is not available <laughs> on anything but Switch. Right. So you can't, okay. You can't use the PC. Oh, is it really? It. That's it's so bad. Switch only so it's tied to this not only that you can actually see that during the the level flyovers when the camera's not attached to the monkey ball it actually looks totally smooth it's like beautiful smooth 60 but as soon as you attach to the physics driven object the monkey ball you get that judder so which that's the telltale sign when you disconnect the camera from a physics object and it looks totally smooth but then you connect it to that and then it's not then it's a hundred percent that's the issue uh this is it's it's not i can guarantee this could be fixed relatively easily so. well, surely surely the way forward is for unity to tick the interpolation box or the 60 hertz box yeah, i know or at least somehow communicate this better to the developers uh i don't know what's going on i i just don't understand how people aren't seeing this in development like it's just so obvious to the yeah. eye when you see it moving like this doesn't look as smooth as it should mm-hmm mm Okay. Bring me, bring me in. I'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> John it will literally fix it for you. <laughs> Somebody gave me access to a, a shipped game that had this problem, and I, I opened up the project, and you know, we kind of went through that, and it actually fixed it. It was exactly what I thought it was. How long would and, the fix take? Uh, once, I mean, getting Unity set up so I could open the project took a bit of time, but once it was there and working, it was just like less than five minutes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is a great segue to our first couple questions, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's always a bit of a bummer to end the news section on a bummer, but, yeah, but, yeah. but there it is, because we don't generally like to uh, no. to sort of criticize. We just want that but, fixed. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is what we like to call low-hanging fruit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The lowest. Really? <laughs> the In lowest. this case, it's bananas, even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. 